Hi everyone, today I want to bring you a quick review of the Padme S9 phone. Uh, this is a budget phone that's uh, available on Amazon and uh, I'm just going to quickly show you what's included. I don't usually use the accessories that come with my phones but you do have a headphone with built-in mic. Seems like your standard quality inexpensive headphone. You have your micro USB cable and a generic style Apple copy charger. Um, the charger looks like it's one amp. Again, I haven't used any of these so I can't comment on their quality. I've just been using my own headphones and my own chargers. It comes with one screen protector applied and one extra screen protector. Uh, I'll tell you up front, the screen protector, I took it off because the plastic feel, I didn't like it. And it was, uh, I think it was hindering the touch functionality. So, here's the phone itself. Uh, this is a 6 inch screen. And it's a pretty good quality screen even though it's only 720p resolution. Um, it has 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigabyte of uh, storage. Um, it's a dual SIM phone but it doesn't work with uh, like wind in Canada or I don't think it will work in T-Mobile in USA. Um, other than that the camera it's uh, I believe it's 2 megapixel and 5. The back camera is okay actually especially in daylight. Uh, the front camera uh, I would say it's a budget camera for sure um, but let's talk about the overall phone so this is all metal and and it does have a little bit of weight uh, it's a really I don't know if I can capture it in the video but it, it is a really nice sharp metal edge with chamfered edges and you know it has a shiny aspect to it and then it has a dull aspect to it and I really like that uh, the buttons are really nice and clicky and have a uh, good tactile feedback the phone itself is obviously large uh, I'm not a fan of the back plate I don't know if I if this is a feature to take the back plate off or not you can see a little gap here or if I just broke it the first time I opened it but this back is it's flimsy. I mean, this is flimsier than the older Samsung phones. Um, so just to get into it, the battery, 4,800 milliamp hour. Um, it will give you about four hours of screen on time in a day. And then both SIM card slots and micro SD slots are right here. They also do include a type of case. I don't really want to call it a case more like a stick on flat but uh, let me just show it to you um, I didn't use it so it's this folio case but then what you have to do is you actually have to take this sticker off and then you stick it on top here and that sort of makes your case which I mean it looks nice but I'm not really sure if it's gonna protect your thing now before getting into the performance I just want to remind everybody that yeah I will compare it to a, a flagship phone but this is a budget phone and it's excellent for a budget phone um, it's smooth in UI um, typing is not as smooth as the highest end phones in the market but for a budget phone it's really nice so this is a Note 3 with a Samsung cover on and as you can see the size of the phone is larger than a note okay so let's get into it so I will post screenshots of benchmarks that I've taken um, let me see if I can pull them up so uh, camera won't be able to capture it okay I will post it in the screenshot and you can see obviously you can see that uh, you're, you're gonna notice that it's gonna be much lower than the high-end phones but the price is also like one-fifth of the note series um, so I like the screen the angles are really nice like the colors you can see it everywhere um, I like the overall move uh, smoothness it's running almost vanilla Android uh, I believe it's 5.1 
let me just double check yeah it's 5.1 and it's very smooth there are a few different things so to get into the multi thing you have to press the center button capacitor button and then they have a clear all that's their own feature um, to get into the background the wallpaper and things like that is the same as the regular and uh, pure Android and then I've installed the Google launcher on here with Google now um, and the Google card and everything works fine it's smooth Let's see if I can yeah that's better okay yeah so that works okay um, I want to show you just typing so with the screen protector I definitely found that typing was a bit off but with without the screen protector I find that it's not as smooth as a higher end phone like you see how I'm missing some letters and I think it just has to do with Google keyboard requiring a lot of RAM and this phone only has one gigabyte of RAM so I'm gonna try to f see if I can get other uh, keyboards that are smoother but swipe uh, on Google keyboard seems to work okay so it, the swipe got everything I just said hello Amazon how are you happy Friday yeah so overall I do like this phone the Bluetooth works fine uh, the first day the Wi-Fi kept dropping but uh, now it has stabilized uh, I gave my router a reboot too I do find that I have it set so that it doesn't go to sleep uh, Wi-Fi doesn't go to sleep uh, uh, when the phone is asleep but it actually just puts the phone to sleep uh, I mean the Wi-Fi to sleep anyways and I think it might be because I have uh, standby intelligent power saving on so that might be the reason for it um, so that's one issue I would not recommend this phone to audiophiles the DAC inside the phone is significantly lower quality than my Samsung Note 3 uh, it works fine for audio calls but if you want to enjoy your music with higher end headphones this is not the phone to get uh, the Samsung Note 3 that does not have a very good DAC but I can tell the difference between that and this it's day and night in terms of lack of bass and sound stage and I'm just using $200 IEMs nothing too fancy um, but if you just want a cheap phone to use uh, on a daily basis and you know use it for your email texting and basic things like that I can fully recommend this phone it works like that in in many instances it's smoother than my note 3 because Samsung software is not off. one feature I want to show you guys on this phone is the gestures when it's off so you can double tap it to turn it on um, you can press M uh, right M while it's asleep to play music uh, it comes with one Justin Bieber song you can hear the volume now that's not really a good test for the speakers because it's going through my camera microphone and it's not gonna sound very good but it does get loud enough and it's just a uh, one so bottle firing speaker here are the rest of the things you can do. You can do C to open um, the dialer. You can do O for clock, W to get into settings, E for the browser, and then you can do uh, a few other things and you can edit what they do as well. So this is kind of neat and I haven't really seen it on many phones and I thought I would just add that and show it, show it to you guys. If uh, my review was helpful, please give me a yes vote uh, so that I can continue making more of these videos. Thank you so much.